This video app review is brought to you by the iPhoneAppReview.com. What's up, everybody? This is Luke Patrick with the iPhoneAppReview.com. We're slinging out yet another video review today. This time, taking a look at an application that's currently on sale for a lot less than it usually is. This app is called Inspire Pro, and as you can see, it's on my springboard ready to go. This puppy usually costs seven dollars and ninety-nine cents in the app store, but uh, in in uh, I guess uh, what well, celebration would be the word of uh, Renoir's birthday. It's actually at a dollar, uh, so a solid 99 cents for an excellent painting app. Sounds good to us. We're going to go ahead and show you how this works. We're going to skip our uh, rather not-so-great painting there. Uh, so here's some examples of what you can do with this, just to kind of give you a, a you know hands-on, full-blast introduction to the application. Obviously, this is a painting app, much like all, a lot of the other painting applications that we've seen before, uh, but some interesting additions, which we'll talk about in just a second. Pretty cool interface, just to uh, you know, go right off the bat, you've got this nice content slider, excellent design on the uh, frames here in the background, as well as the background itself is quite nice, and a wealth of a uh, variety of, um, you know, these uh, samples, I guess is the word. So I'm going to go ahead and slap one of these to go ahead and get into it. And uh, obviously someone has spent a load of time doing this one, um, and we're going to absolutely thrash it now just to show you how this works. You can select the brushes by hitting this button down here and then the pop-up comes up and you're given a selection of five different brushes. These are of course natural media brushes that are simulated on the iPad in the same way that you would see on uh, you know any desktop publishing software like Photoshop or say Corel. So what you do is you simply pick one of these. I've got the round brush selected. Then you can change the size of it and you have a visual representation right here which is quite nice actually. Then you can, of course, also change the rotation if you'd like. We're going to set that to zero. And the pressure even, which is a nice touch, actually. So then to change the color, you tap the color icon up here and then select from any of the uh, favorite colors that you've been using or the latest, or you can start something new. We're going to go with uh, perhaps a cooler blue that may sort of fit with the, uh, the painting, even though we're not worried about adding to this. Once that's done, you hit it and move on. Um, if I can... Ah, uh, forget it. We'll choose one of these. There you go. And so once that's done, the only uh, you know thing left to do is to paint itself. To do this, it's very simple. You just take a finger and then scroll along wherever you would like to add paint. Of course, this is a natural media you know style painting application, so if you swipe, you go until you run out of paint. That's a rather nice blue, if I do say so myself. Um, and so you know it creates that, that sort of natural feeling brush stroke, and then you can go back later and then add to it in multiple layers. Um, you know, change the uh, the hues on that by adding more, mixing it in using some of the mixing tools that are involved here. There's a paint scraper, if you'd like that. Likewise, you can come back with a uh, if you want to remove the paint from the brush itself. It's really quite easy to do. You just tap this button along the top, and now you're painting with a dry brush. So if you want to go through and uh, blur something, that's very easy to do. Likewise, you can hit this button down here. To uh, change some of the paint, uh, you know, settings too, you can do automatic reload, dry brush, paint load amounts. You can set the amount of paint that's on it per brush, etc., uh, etc., et which is a really nice thing to have. Likewise, there's also an eraser, which is usually turned off. The you know the concept there in terms of not having an eraser again, this is intended to be exactly like painting, except on the iPad, which may uh, you know may irritate some people. I was kind of one of those people. Um, there are no layers, there are no uh, you know special effects, all that stuff is sort of uh, left out in favor of a more natural painting experience, which will appeal to those that come from the painting world or have any kind of uh, classical experience with that, but for the rest of us digital media artists, you know, it's a little, uh, it's different, especially compared to what we're used to on the iPad. Most of these applications, like layers most notably, or even brushes, come with a lot of layers and uh, other such options that are uh, more along the lines of, say, a Photoshop clone for your iPad, this is not what this is. And if you're, you know, if that sounds like a good, uh, good time to you, then uh, go for it. It's actually a beautiful application. It's very easy to use in terms of design. The interface itself, itself, is extremely easy to navigate. There are no uh, complex challenges as far as that goes. There are a few additional options if you click the three buttons along the bottom. Then you're given a look at uh, these additional settings, which I'm going to try to show you here. You've got a few other things you can do. Uh, you know, you can select using the eyedropper tool, which is nice. Um, etc. etc. Just a few extra, uh, you know, add-ons to add some content to this. We're going to go ahead and then return to the home screen so I can show you some of the exporting options, and then we'll give you our final wrap-up. Obviously, if you want to uh, select any of these paintings, you simply slide through, find the one that you're looking for, and then you can click this button down here to actually export it to either Facebook or Twitter or even Flickr if you wanted to. Likewise, you could copy it to your photo album or email it. You can do uh, a couple of other things like duplicate the painting. You can uh, view the painting properties as well, including rotate it. So if you noticed a few of these paintings are, uh, you know, set in portrait as opposed to landscape, you can, uh, you know, rotate this around if you'd like. 
I actually didn't want to do that, but there we go. And of course you can save to photo album. And that's essentially it to add a new one. You simply hit this button and then you could go, you know, right into this and create your own canvas. You can change the rotation, etc. You can also set between two of the available canvas sizes. These are kind of stock sort of uh, web uh, dimensions. You've got 768 by 1024. And of course, if you want to do it in the other way, you've got 1024 by 1024. So, uh, you know, all in all, fairly solid stuff with Inspire Pro, and again, uh, at the price at 99 cents, this is an absolute value, even at the $8 that it usually costs. In terms of painting, if you're looking for a more natural painting experience, then there's really no better place to go. Sorry for my uh, really terrible illustration there, I was just kind of playing around. Um, so, you no, know, with that in mind, it's an excellent value. Obviously, you can do a lot of really cool things with this based off of the uh, samples that we have from artists. Uh, likewise, the interface is extremely easy to use and with quick exporting to popular websites. Uh, you know, even better there in terms of getting your work out once it's completed. We also like the ability to save it to the photo album so you can, uh, say, back it up somewhere else. On that note, we would have liked to have seen layers. We would have liked to have seen a few of the other features that we've seen in things like brushes or layers. Um, that would add a more, uh, you know, more digital painting experience, but at the same time, we understand the direction they're going with. Uh, we just would have liked to see a little bit more of uh, those options. Aside from that, it's a solid application, and it's currently at a fantastic price, so it earns a 4 out of 5 star rating from us here at the iPhoneAppReview.com. And that's all we have to say about it. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and sign out, but we'll see you guys later. Bye.